Hi guys, how are you? My name is Yurdanka. Welcome to my channel. And today I would like to make a Halloween look. Okay, so I live in Eastern Europe. Uh, we don't celebrate Halloween. <laughs> And this is like uh, quite uh, a new tradition for us. Uh, you know, the Western world was not part of our reality for the last uh, at least half a century till my country was part of the Soviet Union. And uh, here in the East we are Eastern Orthodox, we have different traditions. Um, but I think that I love holidays. I love all those uh, festive times when people have time to to spend have time for themselves, have time to spend it with their families and this these times are just really uh, time to recharge and actually like in the Roman Empire, in ancient Egypt, they have more holidays than working days and I think they produced way better civilizations. <laughs> so I'm not very... Um, I think that, for example, the working week should be four days and we should have three days for recharge and I think that the product that uh, community will produce will be way better. Okay, but this is just my opinion, but I said all this uh, just to say why I'm approving uh, all kind of holidays, uh, even if they are not like part of my uh, cultural tradition. Culture is invented by people, so culture is changed by people. Okay, uh, so without talking any more about those huge ideas like culture and civilization uh, I want to say that today I'm inspired by Alexander Dumas the French, the great French novelist and his book The, the Man in the Iron Mask so I would like to do a look uh, inspired by Iron Mask <laughs> and just with one note that um, I don't have like eight hours or nine hours to work on this image. I have like about one hour, one or two hours. And um, so uh, it is going to be something artistic and creative. Uh, if I need to draw a real mask, it will take me really uh, a lot of time. And right now in my life, um, I'm really busy. I'm working on some uh, on a project that um, that is very important to me. Something uh, very different that I've never done before, and it takes a lot of time and energy. So uh, that's why I don't have the time to spend like six hours or eight hours on a makeup look. And good details they just need time. Guys, I'm going to, to use Conspiracy Palette uh, because it has this amazing uh, shade that color and the beautiful black myrites here and I'm going to use the Beauty Killer Palette as well first because it really reminds me of the French Revolution it has like a guillotine, dream, uh, it, besides this, this guillotine dream is a really stunning uh, metallic uh, silver shade, so I will use it, I will use Rebirth, all those shades that remind of iron, uh, so Sucker is as well an amazing shade that probably I will use. I will create this look for the first time in front of the camera. Usually I try creating the looks uh, before recording them, just to like to be easier for me in front of the camera, but I don't have time to spend like four hours on uh, creating a look. I think it is going to work out. Um, you can see, I, usually I know what kind of brushes I will need and I don't like uh, don't take the huge bowl with all of the brushes but today everything is going to be 
done on Prima Vista. Uh, so I'm going, I'm going to draw a shape here on the half of my face with black. I will start with my right here with this matte black shade and then I'm going to fill it in with silver. But first let me draw the boundaries of the, sh of the shape like a map as if we have a liquid ion spilled on my face. On my face I have only foundation. Of course I'm thankful to those beautiful Jeffree Star Cosmetics shades because they are really smooth and they make my life so much easier. Uh, so right now I'm taking a flat brush with synthetic fibers, JS11 and this brush is really perfect for applying metallic eyeshadows. I'm dipping first into uh, that color and I start applying it all over my face in the, in the drawn shape of course. Okay guys, look how amazing it looks when it, it is filled with silver shade and even like this it looks really different than my usual face but I would like to make it a little bit more interesting so I will use Guillotine Dream and I will apply it with the same brush I used for all this, this brush and the shade is really good to that color so it was really easy to apply it and now I'm dipping in Guillotine Dream and right now I'm dipping into Rebirth that is even a darker uh, gray, darker metallic and I'm applying it whenever I feel it is needed because this is like an artistic option really just to make it look like a metal, like a rusty, old um, iron mask. I'm not uh, going of course to draw rust because obviously if it stays on your face it doesn't have that much of a rust but like obviously the metal is not at its best condition, it is used. <laughs> So the story is like uh, about this man in the Iron Mask that the Queen of France, she gave birth to two twins and uh, I think as long as I remember it uh, from the movie, I didn't read the book, uh, they were worried that there are going to be wars for the throne so they uh, arrested one of the twins of course put a mask on his face so people could not recognize him and put him in the jail but eventually the other twin that was the chosen to be the king was really a bad king and I don't remember how they decided to uh, to take the second queen uh, the second twin out of the jail and to replace the ruling king something like this very Alexander Dumas uh, so it's a really interesting story and right now I'm dipping into Soul Sucker this rainbow black uh, eyeshadow and with the same brush I'm using only this flat brush with synthetic fibers and it works really well and I start to apply black 
just to give a little bit of volume. I will uh, here I do some uh, black spots and there I will put rhinestones uh, just to give the illusion of uh, how the mask is um, walked on my face with some kind of pins, rhinestone pins. Okay, this, ma this mask starts looking more real. Uh, right now I will do my other eye. Of course I will do it with those shades as well. Like I will not do uh, something extra uh, new. I will uh, do that color. I just want to give this sense of um, metallic look all over my face. So I'm applying in the inner corner that color. Uh, then I'm dipping into Guillotine Dream. I'm applying it in the middle of my upper eyelid. And so a sucker at my outer corner. And I did all of this with just six uh, brush with natural fibers. Uh, I'm taking a sharpie, just seven, and I'm dipping into rebirth. And I'm drawing a boundary of my eye. I want this also to look as if as if there is a mask, a metallic hole on my face. And I'm dipping into my rights here. The matte black, I'm applying it almost on my lower eyelid I will go uh, fix my makeup I mean I will clean the fallout I will reapply foundation I will apply rhinestones on this part and um, for this eye I will apply eyeliner and false eyelashes and mascara and this I I intend to keep it just like this because like this it looks really unreal okay guys here we go here's my little fantasy so of course I applied rhinestones only at the edges imagine this is real metal and it needs to stay there on my face that's these are the places where we will need some kind of a, um, holding, I don't know, elements, details. I don't know what kind of details will engineers name them. And now I have the Platinum Eye Skin Frost Pro Palette. I love it so much, really. And I'm dipping into a glacier and I'm applying it. Like, for example, I applied here, just to give this sense of uh, metal all over my face. I don't have any kind of a bronzing powder. So, we will give an illusion of metallic feel. And I really think that with a makeup like this, you can spend your Halloween like a real professionalist. Uh, it it's interesting, it's easy, it's time saving. I okay, uh, so I applied here on the upper part of my cheek. I will apply it a little bit here on the jawline as well. So that when I'm moving my head, 
it will uh, shine, reflect some light, it will catch some light. And I will apply a little bit of highlighter here as well. So here we go with a cute little look. Right now for my lips I will use Cloud, Cloud from the uh, Bloodless collection from the purple bundle. So I think that metallic lips really bring the whole look on a new level, on a better level. Guys, this whole look, it took me one hour. I think that's perfect. <laughs> For one hour, <laughs> that's the best you can do. If you're not some kind of a speed artist, but if you're a speed artist, that means that you've spent few years dedicated just to drawing, just to uh, be so good and that's a waste of time as well because life is not only about drawing, life is about living and with a look like this you can live a really good Halloween in my opinion I really like it how it turned out I'm really thankful to those really beautiful shades that are so easy to work with I'm always like Jeffree Star Cosmetics saves me so much time, emotions, money, resources to look for another brand, to buy for example uh, uh, body paints I see right now on Instagram people are using amazing uh, makeup uh, paints and very fashionable, very new styles that in my opinion is just a waste of time um, but I'm not like commenting um, staying to my uh, truth, <laughs> real uh, palettes and I'm happy with what I get, basically. <laughs> so, thank you for being here with me. I hope to see you again. Believe in yourself, don't, don't be fooled by all those uh, really amazing looks that you see online. Usually they take a lot of time, a lot of experience and if you invest that much time and time for developing your skills, you will be as good as they are. <laughs> but if you want to do an easy makeup for one hour, this look or something like this will work out for you so thank you for being here with me bye bye